Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do also have a Leo and Virgo only channel below, and um, I'm thinking also of starting all 12 signs again. So anyways, all my channels are linked below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a monthly giveaway on the channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. Just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. If it doesn't resonate, please keep in mind readings can be future predictive. When leaving comments, please show kindness and sympathy to anyone going through a difficult time. This is a place of healing, not judgment. And I do not take personal readings so any phone numbers that you see below or if anyone reaches out to you it is not me i can recommend barbara from quartz rose tarot if you need a personal reading the link to book with her is in the description box below okay Whew. all right guys so we're using a new deck today which is so pretty i have it upside down look how pretty this deck is i want to show you like a real nice one like that's the Ace of Wands. Look at how pretty it is. I got this off of Etsy. It's just so pretty. I don't know. I like it. All right. Let's see here. Hopefully it's not difficult to shuffle or to flip the cards. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, I feel like you guys are... um. When, when you wake up in the morning, I feel like you're going to start to have, uh, you know when they say like you're in love and colors seem brighter and things seem better? Now, I don't know if you're going to find new love or not just yet, but I feel like you're going to start looking at the things around you with more beauty in them. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, like, you know, I mean, if you wake up and you have a nice house and you're so concerned over other things in life, you're going to start to really appreciate your home. Or, you know, if you're just so concerned with other things, you never take the time to appreciate that you do have a nice vehicle or that you have a vehicle or you're just going to start to see the beauty and all the things around you um so that may be because it's been happening to me all morning like you know what i'm saying i'm looking at my dog like man were you always this cute and i went outside on my porch and i'm like you know i'm so i was just woke up in a really grateful attitude today tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus okay so we've got the ten of pentacles the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Tower. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Devil, and we have the Eight of Swords. Tell me about Cancer, please. We have the Nine of Cups, and we've got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, Cancer, all right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let me tell you what the deal is, Cancer. We have the Eight of Pentacles under the deck, and we've got the Three of Wands, and we have the Hierophant. Okay, so Cancer, this specific reading, all my readings are intended to be love readings, okay? They're mostly intended to be love readings, but this particular one, I do want to go on a limb here and say, please keep in mind that this could pertain to friends and family members, okay? So Cancer, I mean, with the Tower and the Ten of Pentacles, um, I feel that on this particular side, what we're dealing with is somebody that works really hard to build things in their life and they either take shortcuts or they do things in a way that are not correct. We're dealing with somebody here that wants to get to a 10 of pentacles. This person wants long-term financial steady commitment. Like this person wants to be in a situation, whether it's in business or in their relationship with someone that can offer financial support in the long term, okay? Or or long-term stability of some sort. Sorry guys, my allergies are killing me and I need a tissue. Um with the devil and the eight of swords, you're dealing with someone here that's extremely caught up in the materialistic realm. 
is what I'm feeling here. This could be you, Cancer. It could be your person. I, I feel strongly it, you, it's either a love interest of yours, a friend, or a family member. Okay? This is obviously someone close to you. Now, with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords, do you remember how I told you somebody is looking at the beauty and that energy that I just told you about? That could be you, Cancer, but I feel more so it's whoever's around you looking at all your things. This is someone that's looking at all your stuff, looking at all your things, looking at your nice car, looking at all the things that you have. Someone's looking at your life and they're saying, oh, well, would you look at that? I want all of that. Cancer has all the things that I want. Now, we could be dealing with someone as simple here that's still living with their parents. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they just, ju this is just an example. Maybe they just got through a divorce or a bad breakup and they're, they're living with their parents now. And here you are with just a regular one bedroom apartment, you know, decent car outside. And they're like, oh, there we go. Cancer has a nice house already set up, a nice little apartment already on their feet. Everything's good. I don't have to do anything. Do you see what I'm saying? But I want to make it clear, Cancer, that this is somebody that has been trying to achieve this 10 of pentacles status for quite some time and they're doing it wrong because the tower talks about trying to build on a negative foundation so this could be someone that is trying to uh ride on someone else's coattails basically like a a gold digger or so, you know, and, and when I say gold digger, guys, we automatically jump to millionaires. You don't have to be a millionaire to, to deal with gold diggers. Okay. You don't have to be a millionaire to deal with gold diggers. Okay. Um, but so maybe the way this person is going about it is wrong because they're going about it in a sense where they're using people or if this pertains to work, they're trying to take shortcuts. They're not putting as much work in. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like whatever this person's doing, they're not doing it the right way. And that's why they can't achieve that 10 of pentacles on their own. So what they're doing is cancer. Their eyes <clears throat> are averting to you. And they're like, look at that. Cancer has everything that I want. And with that eight of pentacles, the three of wands and the hierophant, Cancer, this could be someone that is starting to talk about marriage because they see here that as much as they want to achieve this long-term stability on their own, they need you to do it so they could start talking about marriage. Or, you know, Cancer, this could be a friend or a family member that's going to start to want to go into business with you. The hierophant talks about marriage or it could talk about high levels of commitment okay uh and and i could mean like you know buying a car buying a house these are contracts legal documents okay um and the hierophant can also be somebody that is wise it, it could be a mentor okay so cancer this could be somebody that perhaps wants to use you in some way shape or form whether it be financially or use you as some type of stepping stone take your knowledge take what you know how did you do it you know what i'm saying so be careful with that cancer because yeah, see, we've got the hanged man and we've got the six of pentacles with the two of cups. This is somebody that wants to be in a relationship for what they can get for what they can get. And with that hanged man energy, this is somebody that's gonna have you suffering and sacrificing. And then we've got the eight of cups here, and then they may end up walking away, okay? Um, so this is somebody that's only in it for what they can get. And that sense of gratitude and wonder that I was feeling, Cancer, I mean, like I said, you guys may be feeling that, but I feel more so it's this person, Cancer, because this person is looking at all the things that you have. Ten of Pentacles and the World card. The Tower and the Death card. Cancer, I feel like this person is looking at the things that you have and they're like, damn, cancer can change my life. Uh, cancer can get me out of living with my parents or, or cancer can do this or cancer can do that. Maybe you work in a situation where if they get with you, you can uh, get them to go higher. There's so many thousands and thousands and thousands of different scenarios, but there's something here that you have that this person can achieve. Let's just say this person's in a bad marriage, okay, and they want to get out of it, and you would be quick to take this person in, let them live with you, wait for them to get on their feet, and then as soon as they're on their feet, they're going to leave. Like, you would be a quick place to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> Tell me about the devil card for cancer. 
And we've got the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Swords for Cancer and the Knight of Wands. <sighs> Cancer, okay. So this could be an energy of, you know, the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands is a very sexual energy, um, but it can also be an energy of somebody looking really, the Knight of Wands goes after what the Knight of Wands wants. And the Queen of Wands generally would have what the Knight of Wands wants. It's a very tempting energy, alluring energy. But the Queen of Wands is not just sexual. The Queen of Wands is on, their, on her game, okay? The Queen of Wands is generally... Um, you know, financially independent in, in her own right, you know, whether it's male or female. I feel here that someone is obsessed. They want what you have. You're looking good, feeling good here. You're just, you're just on fire, beating the competition. Um, you're just kind of in an energy where maybe you're just you look like you're having fun and you're doing well in life. And this person, they want something from you here. They want something from you. Now, Cancer, the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, the Death card in the world, this could also be, just like I said, someone's marriage could be falling apart, something here could be ending, and now, you know, it's like somebody here is going towards a third party. Like someone could possibly be going towards a third party, um, but I don't feel like they're going towards that third party for any other reason but to, like, get on their feet. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? So there's an energy here of I'm going to stay here for a while. I'm going to go towards the Queen of Wands. I'm going to stay here for a while. And then with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords, uh, as soon as I, I get what I want and I have my victory, I'm just going to cut cancer off and leave five of swords with the ace of swords is the six of swords leaving a negative situation behind and moving on and moving forward okay so this is somebody in an energy cancer oh look at that seven of swords and i didn't even see that card popped out seven of swords this is somebody that's coming in to use you and again it could be a friend it could be a family member it could be what whatever you want it to be i don't care but this is somebody that <clears throat> This is somebody <coughs> that sees that you have <coughs> the perfect setup for them to get out of a situation. So like, let's just say cancer, you know, I mean, someone here loses their job. You get them in at your job, right? You get them in at your job or something like that. This person comes in, they, they work, they get their money together, they do whatever, and then they just leave your job. They just, you know what I'm saying? It's like this person's gonna come in to, they're gonna use you as some type of stepping stone. They just wanna kind of ride your wave, ride your coattails until they can go off and be on their own it's just for them to get on their feet tell me about cancer please we've got the queen of swords and we have the two of wands you're you're you need to make a decision here cancer you need to i feel like you're not making any quick decisions when it comes down to this you seem to be very guarded when it comes down to this person so your intuition may be telling you something's not right or maybe you don't have a good history with this person We've got the Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles. You seem to know that this person is coming towards you <clears throat> for either finances, a job, because you're responsible. Because you're respond, you know why they're coming towards you. You know they're coming towards you because they. Oh, that was a ninja move. We've got the Three of Wands. And the five of cups, you already see disappointment on the horizon here, Cancer. You already see dis you all it's like you already know. The question here is, should I say no? Should I say yes? Because here's the thing, Cancer. There's a part of you that wants to say no with that Queen of Swords. And the other half of you is saying, you know what? I'm in Queen of, of Pentacles energy. I can help this person. Should I be the bigger person? Should I do the right thing and just help? With the three of wands and the five of cups, though, no matter what way you look at it, Cancer, you you see disappointment on the horizon with this person. But with the justice card and the six of wands, it would earn you brownie points with karma. That's interesting. 
So Cancer, the way you're looking at this is you're not really looking at the 3D portion of this. You're looking at the brownie points you would reap with karma. Like if I help this person, I know my brownie points with karma is going to go way up. Isn't this deck beautiful? That's the way you're looking at it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. You have a bad history with this person, Cancer. This is someone you already know. Again, this could be a friend, a family member, an ex. Two of Wands. Tell me about the Two of Wands. And the Three of Swords. This could be someone that broke your heart in the past. They chose someone else over you. Cancer, I feel like you know that if you make the decision to help, you're going to get really hurt by this person. I don't, you just know it. I don't know how you know, but you know it. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. And the five of wands. They're going to fight for your help, Cancer. They're going to fight for your help. This person's going to throw a tantrum. They're, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're going to fight for it. They're going to fight for what they want. Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Cups in the reverse. So this person, Cancer, may be trying to reconcile with you and tell you, don't worry, there's no other competition. There is no more third parties. The Knight of Swords here and the Empress. Um, you see what I'm saying? Th this person wants to move very fast, and I feel like they're going to want to get into a commitment very fast. OK, they're going to want to move very fast. Um, this person may even go as far as getting you pregnant to tie you down if this is a love thing. So Cancer, this is somebody that's coming back around telling you, no, there's no competition. I'm not talking to anybody else. You're the only person that I want. I'm loyal to you and only you. But you just don't see a future where you don't regret making this decision. Three of Wands here for Cancer. Three of Wands here for Cancer. The Star card. This is how it always works out, Cancer. You, you know, when this person comes back around and you look out into the horizon with the star card and the wheel of fortune and the king to the queen of pentacles, look at that, the king to the queen of pentacles. Now, you know, whenever this person comes back around, they have this ability to make you feel like this is it. Everything's going to be okay this time. We're going to be together. Um, we're going to live happily ever after. This is my manifestation coming to fruition. What is this five of cups and the nine of swords you're afraid you're going to regret this decision cancer you're afraid that you are going to regret this decision i feel like with the judgment card and the four of swords some of you may actually um give this a chance and you know why i think you're going to give this a chance cancer because even though this person hurt you tremendously okay you may be thinking to yourself here i've earned good points with karma this could be my good karma coming back to me because i've loved this person i've helped this person i've done you know what i'm saying i've done everything i could i've done everything right so this must be my manifestations coming to fruition this has to be good karma coming my way because cancer they're fighting Fighting for you the chariot and the five of wands they are fighting for you they are telling you with that three of cups they're in reverse there is no more third party i'm not playing games um you know what I'm saying? Uh, me and the third party are not going to reconcile again i promise you king and queen of pentacles it's me and you all the way it's me and you all the way <laughs> But this person's going to come in quick, wanting to get married, wanting to, uh, you know what I'm saying, wanting to go very fast. And I feel like you're scared. You're scared that you're going to regret this decision. Okay, so the question is, will you? Will you regret the decision to reconcile with this person? Okay, so we're going to take it into the extended do they really love you? Their true feelings and intentions. Um, you know, what's going to happen here uh, in the future, the long-term future, okay? Uh, what are we heading down the same road again with this person or is it really over? I feel like for many of you, I have to be honest, I feel like this was a third-party situation with someone that was in a higher level of commitment and they're finally leaving that commitment. That's what I'm feeling, 
okay? Um, but it could work in so many different ways here. It could work in so many different ways. The, the main point here is, are you going to regret reconciling? Because I feel like this person has put hope back into your heart that this is it. It's really you and them now, long term, you know what I'm saying? And you're going above and beyond to forgive and forget here. Are you going to regret and give this one last shit, giving this one last chance? Okay. All right, guys. So the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you guys there. Bye, my loves.